and Jeremy Bayless, Del Rayley Designs. Welcome back to another Tapestry of Truth. Today we're going to be starting our lessons on the Eth Sefer, and specifically with the name of Yahua. The Hebrew word Eth means divine, and the Hebrew word Sefer means book, scroll, letter, or writing. Hence, the Eth Sefer is the divine book. The Sefer includes all of the 74 books previously canonized as the Bible. It also includes the books of Enoch and Jubilees from the Dead Sea Scrolls, as well as Jasher, Ezra 2 through 4, 1 and 2 Baruch, and Maccabees 1 through 4, for 87 books total in all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you see upcoming teachings. The name of Iaua. We make mention herein of the name Iaua. The Tetragrammaton went unmentioned for over two millennia based upon the ineffable name doctrine articulated after the destruction of the Second Temple. However, Josephus tells us in Wars of the Jews, Book 5, Chapter 5, Section 7, that the Tetragrammaton was pronounced by the priests prior to the temple's destruction, and they pronounced it as four vowels. We believe that the demands of the language declare that those vowels to be e a u a, which we have captured in the construction of the word Iaua. The construct of the first two letters is one that is common in modern Hebrew, where the Yad is pronounced E, with the vowel He being pronounced A creating ia, which we have captured as ya or ia. The construct of this pronunciation is one that is common in modern Hebrew, where the he is pronounced with the vowel a, creating ya or ia. The name stands alone as ia 45 times in the Tanakh. You guys can stop here, pause the screen, and take a screenshot where you can check all of the scriptures you see listed from Exodus, Isaiah, and Psalms, and double-check those in your own Bible. I recommend that you use a King James Version study Bible, which goes along very well with the Eth Sefer for cross-referencing. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, Elohim gives his name as Iaya Asher Iaya, translated most basically as I am that I am, or I will be that I will be. However, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 4, first sets forth the name Iaua, and it is established in the vocalization Iaua, where the Vav is used in its vowel form as an U, rather than declaring the vowel as a jot beside the consonant He. So the Yad is pronounced as E, the He is pronounced as a, the vav is pronounced as u, and the he is pronounced as a. Therefore, the pronunciation is iaua or iaua. To ignore the a at the end is a disservice, as is found in the pronunciation Yahweh, as the a is the breath of the Father within his own name. This claim is supported with the following example concerning the change of the name of Avram to Abraham. Neither shall your name any more be called Avram, but your name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made you. Genesis chapter 17, verse 5. Here, the Ah is breathed into Avram, and the covenant is expressed as an everlasting covenant. The breath of life was then poured into Abraham's wife, Sarai, who became Sarah. Genesis chapter 17, verse 15. For this reason, pronunciations such as Yahweh, Yahweh, Yavo, Yava are not widely disparate. Iaue instead of Iaua, Iaue instead of Iaue. However, Iaua is the more accurate. I hope you all enjoyed today's video on the beginning of the Eth Sefer with the pronunciation of our Lord's name as Iaua. 
Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you see upcoming videos on the Ath Sefer as well as many other subjects. This will be continued.